heading out on a rainy Sunday. The rain's letting up a bit, but I'm getting all that spray from people's car tires. And again over there, our one-room schoolhouse, now residence. But of course, I've been old enough to ever have attended a one-room schoolhouse. Yep, I'm old, but not that old. But I am getting there. At least now the rain's totally stopped. As you cross the big gunpowder falls. on the right up here someplace. The one time gunpowder copper factory. Up there. Now it's a residence. In fact, the place for the first Capitol Dome were made back there at that one time copper factory. But of course the first Capitol Dome was burnt down in the Civil War by the Confederates. And this place don't exist any longer. Our crossing of the little gunpowder. Yep, there too. But again, we find ourselves on good old US 1. Brings memories back. Already. But again, I guess we'll stop here and get our dollar drink. Any size, one dollar. They don't come at me. Yep. Caught on camera. All right. I'll park here. I'll save the handicap space for someone else. And now that we're back on the road, all into other things. Like, kind of like a dam. I gotta watch the Pennsylvania woman driving in front of me. She was a bit erratic the past couple of miles. Using shoulders as passing zones. Maybe it stopped raining outside. But there are still idiots that rain on your parade. Let's see what she does here, where there's a passing lane. I go over here because the right lane ends. She goes over here to fly by everybody. Enough. And here we cross Ontario Creek. And we'll soon see the secondary by that name. Until the late 50s, Route 1 bore that way. That's why these roads line up. But I'll stay this way for a bit. That way I can show you the secondary uh, again. But gotta first cross state lines to do it. We'll get to where the track begins, work our way south from there to where there's no more track. It's sunny up here in PA, but my understanding is it's pouring down rain back in Baltimore. Huh. I, thought, I thought you'd go to Virginia to seek shelter from the storm. Now go to Pennsylvania to seek shelter. Gotta change the words of the song. But here's your week it off. 
Nottingham, the home of Hearst potato chips, which I think taste better than theirs. If you believe the commercials, anyway. Up at the light, the previous US-1, north to the left, south to the right. But first, here's part of the secondary that still exists and still runs. You only on occasion, looking north that way, towards Philadelphia. And south towards the Harris plant. Now facing south on the old one, which just passed on the road up ahead from right to left. At the light, it's cut apart by the Harris plant, but there is a way to get around it by turning right. By the one time it did go through there. But I can get around that by turning left up ahead somewhere. They left there at her drive. That's appropriate. Her drive. <laughs> Or is it his drive? And the fun stuff you can do here. We've got a factory outlet someplace and a factory tour. Wish I had time for it. Yeah, I'll take you through there one day. But do they taste better than theirs? The old, old route one here, quote unquote old, old. And I bet the, the old road, old, old and old. That was the previous route to this, and this is the previous route to the four lane highway. And now south of the previous route, which I showed you in a day out of sea, back in December of 2016, on a cold December day, well, here it is in the summertime. Doesn't go very far though. I can only go as far as here on the old route because the new route cuts it apart through the trees up there. Now I've turned around and facing north on the route, heading back out. And over there, the old, old road. The previous route to this. And that both roads are supplanted by a four-lane highway. And back at the Hurst plant, which I now have to get around somehow. I guess to go the way I came in. And now back south on the modern day US-1, the way we came up. The old road's hidden over there someplace. We were just over there. Here, we used to jump across from that side. It's over to this side. But now you can't see it due to the leaves on the trees. It's over there now. But up here again, old one crossed over from that side. It's over there. Which we're about to take. So we can see the secondary one more time. Now on the original one, that's looking south. Looking north where it dead ends. And up here, the former crossing of the secondary. Still somewhat visible. Can't go that way though. It's only used as far south as the Hearst plant, and that's it. As you saw. Now in a place called Silmar. And about to cross state lines back to Maryland. In fact, there's a state line road. It's on the line, that's why. And right there is the line. Okay, back in our home state. We're back in Maryland and picking up raindrops. 
It figures. But if there is clouds there, look threatening. Maybe. But now I've got some blue sky up there. So what gives? Again, the rain stopped entirely. Had some suns coming out. Unless we rode out of the rain or something. One of the two. Either it stopped or we drove out of it. Nice clouds there. Or a llama farm, but no llamas. The llamas aren't out today. Anyway, cool clouds there, but dark clouds behind us. Just don't go back. But over there, we have a carny in progress. A carnival. But all those trailers parked there, Makes it look like a big NASCAR meet. Every NASCAR race, there are hundreds of trailers in the infield. Another circle here. Well, for the heck of it, I'll go this way. Because I want to check something out. See if this gets me to CSX. And it's my first time over this route. So we're all seeing it together for the first time. Let's of course watching this a second time, or a fourth. But there are more clouds in the sky as we proceed south on this road. And it's getting windy out there too. The wind's kicking up a bit. We'll see what that means. stop sign. Hey, cool. Hopefully this road will get me to a place called Elk Mills where CSX passes. I know how to find out. My first time going this way. So I'm not sure how long before I get to anything. Now what's beneath this here bridge? Watch it be CSX what I'm looking for. The up at CSX. Yeah. With the local working the track. But I have an idea. Hold on. I just turned west onto another route. Which I know for a fact takes me straight to CSX and Elk Mills. And here is Elk Mills, with CSX passing in front of us, as I thought it would. Wish the car wasn't in front of me though, or a couple of cars, whatever. All the cars I want to see now are the ones on the track. Almost gonna catch into the train there. But there you go. At least I caught something here. But I gotta pull a Yui someplace and go back. They're probably out of sight already. I just made my U-turn as the rain starts up again. Recrossing the tracks. Well, let's leave Frog over to New York and see how it is. And just that quick, the rain stops. I can't explain. Just like that song by The Who, I can't explain. Anyway, 
that about to cross the state lines? You guessed it. And now arriving in New York. And again, got raindrops. But apparently things here are being changed around a bit. They're fixing the parking lot. As long as I can get to the station, I don't care. I know about New York Station. But folks on the platform may be in the cave. The train may soon be stopping here, heading south. Coming from that direction. To the north. The sky doesn't look too threatening. But to the south, the clouds are considerably darker. I bet there's lots of rain down there right now. But since there are folks there with bags, maybe a train will soon stop here. And something is appearing in the distance. Let's see if that's the one that stops. It's coming kind of slow, so it might be the one that stops. But all of a sudden, Anacella crept up behind me, caught me off guard. But the other one in the distance, I believe, will be stopping. It's already slowing down. So, let's see what this one does. I guess it's stopping. There go the flashing lights. And those folks are all waiting with bated breath. At least the engineer gave a toot. Get a break job. Okay, it makes for a good picture in picture. Most trains don't stop here in New York, but there are a few that do. And there goes this one, heading for Baltimore and DC. I hear you. All right, guy. Later.
and are proceeding out of Newark. But they'll be fooled by what you see in the distance. That's not a mountain down there, just a molehill. For those who are into moles, but in front of us, dark clouds again. But let's see what awaits us back in Maryland. And now back in Maryland. Let's look at the threatening clouds up there. And threatening drivers too. You can't be a jerk these days. You may be caught on something. And again, got some sprinkles coming down. Now coming down for sure. You'll get back to Maryland and it rains. It's time to go traffic again. And now on US 40, heading east. The, the road that I turned one year old on. But the rain appears to be simmering down. It also appears to be, to be brightening up down there. So we'll see what happens. At least the rain simmering down. And there is some clear sky in the distance. And again, the sun's out. Wouldn't you know it. And once again, stop by this place, complete with the trees. And of course, also stop by CSX as well. Looking east on the Philly sub. But, waiting for a train, and again starting to rain, despite the sun. It's sunny and raining at the very same time. Don't know what gives today. But just that quick, the rain stops, and we have filtered sun again. Yep, don't know what gives today. But again, dark clouds moving in. I think on occasion I hear distant thunder. The occasional thunder that I hear appears to be coming out of the southeast, that direction. Wonder if it'll reach here. Be great to get a train with thunder in the background. Yep, thunder's coming from over there somewhere. From the east or southeast or something. And there's some more. I have an album at home called Steel Rails Under Thundering Skies. I'd love to get my own right now. No train yet, but got a deer. Yeah, I see you. Sorry, I can get out easy. How about a deer under thundering skies?
plundering skies and steel rails, but no train. And it's starting to rain again, so I guess I better head on out and go some place where it's covered over. You may as well get back in the car. If it's raining and thundering, why tempt fate? And now crossing back to our side of the river, under gray skies and rain. And now it's really coming down out there. Oh, but suddenly simmering down. Once again, entering Aberdeen. And as long as we're here, let's check out the Amtrak station and see if anything's due to stop here. Just the rain simmering down. And there's a covered over area there to do some rail fanning. While the truck parked in my space facing the wrong way. This is ankle parking, when it's ankle parking, you can't park like that. Been the way all day, up this northeast corridor. At least here at this station, you have a covered over area to wait for a train. Perfect. And I'm sure she agrees. It's now 7.35 p.m., obviously. But the next train to stop will be in northbound at 8.19. Heading that direction. Wonder if I should wait. And more thunder again. Of course, there may be a train flying through here that doesn't stop between now and then. Yep, it's coming down. A lot of rain dripping off the roof though, and that certainly doesn't help. But at least we're high and dry, or at the very least, we're dry. Yep, thunder. And raindrops coming off the roof. Hold on to your hats. They train in the rain. Steel rails, altering skies, and the train. And more rain coming down. Now check out all that rain. And apparently our station lights just came on. That'll help a bit. These are cool station lights. They go on and off. They're off now. They got a bit dark earlier, now it's probably full the electric eye. It's brightened up just a little bit. And I guess it again fold the eye. And the lights are off. Must be the weather. And the air raid siren just went off. The air raid in progress. But who would want to bomb Aberdeen? Apparently someone. 
I grew up here. Don't bomb this place. And the sign denoting the southbound train. With again background sirens. A lot of excitement today in the Northeast Corridor. And there's more. What is going on? Something. Welcome to Aberdeen. And here comes Northeast Regional, train number 124 to New York and points north. job on the loco. Wish he'd fix those brakes though. Now departing Seawin, New York. I haven't been there in a while myself. Up around the bend. And soon there should be a southbound one stopping. Attention, please. This is a brand new call for our track northeast regional train line 25. A lift of action to the new station. The center immediate stops at 5 p.m. BWI Airport, New Carrollton. Passengers should proceed to track 4. Thank you for choosing from the track. You're welcome. But I didn't choose Amtrak today quite yet. Here comes our southbound one. Right on time. Actually a couple of minutes early.
get on. Yeah. Always talks to the crew. Yep. Amtrak train 135 about to depart. Oops, the other way, southbound. See you in Washington. Say hello to Donald. Or better yet, don't. And there's your railroad finale for the day. Up the part of the station area. And about to cross the CSX. Where I missed the freight passing because I stopped for gas. Well, I caught one earlier in Elk Mills. Even if only barely so. But again, plan on taking I-95 back to Baltimore. But again, I-95 is totally backed up. Just as last Sunday when I checked it out. Between the weather and I-95 on Sundays, don't know what gives. I'll turn up here left and go south on Stepney. I'll go back to US 40. I'll also have a quick look at where my uncle used to live before he died. My uncle's house was right there. Well, still is, but he died about 10 years ago. It's a nice big flat there with a two car garage. Can't tell from here though. I wish that when he died, he bequeathed it to me. I'd love something like that. Instead of the modern day 40, I'm on the original one. I can pick my way through. Hollywoods. It said Hollywoods. I can take off on Hollywood. For whatever reason. And now passing through Abingdon. It's still raining outside. But finally made it onto I-95. I went south a couple of exits, then got on. At least the air traffic's moving. Still a busy road, though. But now, finally, at our exit, we we're going west. And finally, back in the city. And finally, back in the hood. I had to park across the street because I was out later today. And somebody parked in my usual space. I guess better be cool get his handicap signs put up, huh? Had a good ride today. Almost 140 miles total. Hope you enjoyed. And again, as per usual, thank you very much for the privilege of your time. And for riding along with me and the lady. I'll see you again.